Hi there, it's Łukasz for the Tech Travel Geeks and this is a sample video of the Poco F4 5G, a smartphone manufactured by Xiaomi. We are filming currently in beautiful Kaunas by the river Namunas and it's a lovely day in here. This is my second attempt at this video because the initial one turned out to be quite shaky. I was recording in 4K 60 frames per second and the video output was quite shaky. Could have something to do with the frame rate or maybe I was moving the phone too fast. But I will leave a sample of that initial recording from a palace so you can check for yourself. But I wanted to start the video with some nice views and without too much shaking. So I hope this will be, look better. This video will include a number of different modes and different cameras and different frame rates so we can check what the outputs are and what the different modes are for the video recording on this phone. So we will try the ultra wide camera in full HD, we will try the selfie camera in a moment from that palace that I told you about and uh, we will show you also some other modes that uh, you can use on this phone. So yeah, let's see what the 4K60 video looked like. I will share a fragment of the initial intro for this video and you can see for yourself. And then you'll have other footage that you can review so you can see what the quality will be like. Please note I'm editing the video in Adobe Premiere Pro so it's not coming straight out of video but I'm not making any changes. And I'm exporting to 4K in 30 frames per second. Hi there, it's Łukasz for the Tech Travel Geeks and this is a sample video of the Poco F4 filmed here in beautiful Lithuania We're in Palanga, which is a resort town by the Baltic Sea and this is an Amber Palace We're in the gardens here and it's a stunning day here in Lithuania I'm filming in 4K 60 frames per second on this Poco F4, which is the maximum resolution and frame rate. The phone has image stabilization, so I hope it's not too shaky for you. So this is the ultra wide camera. We had to downgrade to 1080p 30 frames per second. But the image quality is still good. Let's zoom into a flower. Great, and let's try some walking. It's a really, really nice day here in Palanga. Lovely. And let's switch to a selfie camera. And again, as with the ultra wide, the maximum resolution is 1080p or full HD in uh, 30 frames per second. So there's no 4K recording. If you want to do vlogs, you won't be able to do vlogs in 4K. It's a very sunny day, so you can see how it handles highlights and all the dynamic range here during the day but yeah it's not shaking i've seen some shaking on other phones recently but the camera looks stable so we should be able to record nice vlogs if you want to lovely i'll finish in a moment in a different place but yeah this is what it looks like on a 1080p 30 frames per second selfie camera so this is the macro camera unfortunately it only films in hd which is 720p which is like half of full hd and the quality might not be the best but let's see this big bug trigger warning i can't see can't see it too much because it's quite dark yeah you normally wouldn't use the macro lens to be honest Unless you want to really, really zoom in on something small, like a flower petal. So this is interesting, this is 4K60. And the camera seems to overexpose. But when I switch to, 10, to the ultra wide, it doesn't, let's see. 
and this is ultra wide camera and it doesn't overexpose the dynamic range seems better so not sure why this happens. I noticed this with take when taking the photos, which I can put here. It's quite interesting. This is still ultra wide. And this is the stable mode. So let's walk a bit uphill. And using the stable mode, let's see how good the image stabilization is. This is the electronic image stabilization plus the optical from the camera let's see some ants as well they're quite massive wow. And once more we are using the stable video mode while walking, to this time on a straight uh, cobbled road. And we're recording in 1080p 30 frames per second because that's the maximum using stable mode. You can see how stable it is and we will switch to a normal 4K recording without stable mode to compare. Yeah, this is 4K 30 frames per second without stable mode, but there's optical image stabilization on this lens, so it should be good enough. So you'll be able to compare if there's any difference between the two. And again some walking, this time on the selfie lens. Again 1080p, so we'll see how it works when you walk. Actually the phone almost fell off, but I got I'm using a transparent case but I ordered a few cases recently both for the Poco F4 and the 4 F4 GT so you can expect some unboxings and reviews of flip cases for Poco phones soon on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel as usual there's a few other video modes available like long exposure or slow motion up to 960 frames per second in 720p or the dual mode which allows you to film what's in front of you as well as what's behind you and you can change where the focus is so you can either focus on what's behind you split it or what's in front of you and as you can see we've got the Baltic Sea in front of me might be a bit windy so warning there but as you can see it's quite beautiful in here so yeah it's a use useful mode if you want to show two sides of the story there's other modes as well like the time lapse which are actually recorded in 4k which is fantastic just make sure to choose the right speed in the first shot i used four times speed which is probably a bit too slow for my taste and the second shot is 30 times speed, which I think looks a bit better. You can go as fast as 1800 times speed, which is good for showing plants growing or something similar, but you'd probably need to leave the recording on for the entire day. And we also tried recording using the clone mode, which requires you to film the same scene twice for 10 seconds, but it's more of a gimmick to be honest. We had to try a few times and I can't see too many uses for it. But then again, I'm not on TikTok, and this looks like something you could try for that platform. And that's it for this longer than usual sample video of the Poco F4 5G. I'm quite happy with the video quality from this phone, as long as I'm not recording in 4K 60 frames per second, which seems to produce shaky and staggering footage. But there shouldn't be too many cases where you'd have to record in 4K 60, unless you wanted to slow down the footage after the fact, like we do with our phone reviews and other high quality videos. But for everyday recording, 4K30 is great and the optical image stabilization works quite well. Let us know in the comments below what you think about the video quality of the Poco F4 and let us know if you have any questions. We'll continue with other Poco F4 and F4 GT footage soon, so make sure to subscribe to see more videos from us. But for now, thanks for watching!